Hello guys, welcome to NCBI session and today we do, I'm going to show you how to submit your nucleotide sequences through NCBI. Uh, first of all, it is very important to make sure your sequences are corrected uh, and your sequences have quality uh, to submit to NCBI. To submit sequences through NCBI, uh, you need some changes, couple of changes like uh, you need to change your sequences and to first of all it. Uh, so you can see on this screen, I have opened my sequences and notepad file. Okay, uh, I have multiple sequences, three sequences, and I'm going to format these sequences in first of all, and then we will go ahead uh, to visit NCBI and upload these sequences, and I will show you each and every step uh, in that platform. Okay, so first let's format these sequences. So as you know, we have two lines for faster format. First one is definition line and the second line is sequence line. And defi definition line, uh, we have to insert greater than sign and then sequence identity. So these sequences actually belongs to fungi uh, genus uh, Agaricus. Okay. So I will type Agaricus and okay, Agaricus species and so this is okay and second line is sequence so we have already these bases uh, let's do it for the second sequence Okay, so we have prepared uh, faster files. Sorry, uh, don't forget to insert the greater than sign. Okay, uh, this is very important. So now we have three sequences in faster format. Uh, so let's save it. Okay, so NCBI, when you submit your sequences, in, okay, so NCBI recommend you save your sequences and or uh, text plane format okay or text like we are going to save this file and text format okay txt so save it agaricus sequences So, okay, so let's visit NCBI. Uh, just type Jinbang and you will see the NCBI website. I'll click on it. So, uh, you can see on the top submit option, open it and directly we will go to bank it so because we submitting nucleotide sequences and these sequences are partial these are not complete sequences okay we have we have sequence a uh, specific region of genome and we are going to submit uh, these fragments of sequences so these are nucleotide sequences so we can use bank it to submit these sequences okay So this is the interface of Binkit and you can see different information here. Submit new sequences to GeneBank. What type of sequence data do you have? Okay, so you can see, so these sequences belong to fungus and we have sequence ITS region, internal transcribed region, okay, of the genome. So we have this option, ribosomal RNA, or RNA ITS. Okay, so we will select this option because my sequences belong to ITS region. We'll use it. Okay, and click on start.
Okay, so here you can see the submission portal and different options for different organisms and different sequences like prokaryotic RNA submission, eukaryotic RNA submission. So uh, all sequences belong to fungi and fungi are eukaryotes. So you can see eukaryotic RNA and RNA RTA submission. All sequences are eukaryotic. All sequences in the FASTA file contain sequences from one of the following types. So we have already FASTA files. Uh, we have prepared these files. So let's go and click on new submission. So we are going to submit our sequences. This is new submission. So we'll click on new submission button. So now this is the actual interface of GeneBank. Okay. So our ID is submission uh, SUBB891351. This is submission ID. And we have just started our submission process. So this first page is very important. Okay. So submission type. So in, on this interface, the NCBA will ask you some questions about your sequence, sequence the type of sequence and the nature of sequence. So uh, what do your sequences contain? Okay. So in my sequence, uh, my sequence actually belongs to eukaryotic uh, RNA ITs. Okay. So I'll select eukaryotic nuclear RNA uh, ITs. And then when you select ITS, uh, another menu will open, okay? And what do these eukaryotic nuclear RNA RTA sequences contain? Okay, so there you can see different options. So uh, I have sequence and this sequence, uh, we have internal transcribe spacer one, 508S ribosomal RNA and internal transcribe spacer two. So we have all these segments in our sequence. So I will select the first option contains ribosomal RNA RTS region. So it means I have sequenced the whole RTS region in the genome. Okay. And if you have only RTS1 region, if you have sequenced only RTS1, then you must select uh, this option. Okay. RTS only. Or if there is RTS2, you can select RTS2. And if there is a TNS RNA data, then you have this option and then you have 28 is option. So it's up to you, uh, you have to look up in your sequence, uh, what type of sequence you have sequence and the, the, the size of sequence you have got, okay. Uh, submission title, so I'm just giving uh, agaricus, this is submission title and click on continue. Okay, so this is the second page, uh, submitter section. Okay, so everything uh, you need to put your information about your institute and your contact details and your address. Okay, so you can see I have already edited my details, uh, institute and address. Okay, and down below you can see contact information. You can provide primary and secondary emails and then just Click on continue button. So now we have third step sequencing technology. Okay. So I have sequence this fungus using Sanger sequencing. So I'll select this option and down below you can see other technologies like Illumina, Iron Torrent. Uh, and the, if you have used these sequence, uh, technologies, you can select it, okay? But most of the time are partial sequences, people using Singer technology. And scroll down. So assembly state, uh, these sequences are, okay, so my sequence is unassembled, okay? So I will just sequence the small section of my genome. Uh, so if you have genome and you have assembled those genomes, you can select the second option, but for now, I will select unassembled sequences reads because my reads are, are unassembled. And then click on continue. So fourth step is sequences. Okay. Sequences. When should this submission be released to the public? Uh, release immediately following processing release on specified date or upon publication, whatever 
is first okay so i will select this second option release on specific date i will select a date to release these sequences for example i'm going to 2020 okay so let's change it 2021 and and i'm going to change the month march april so i'm going to select april and april 1 okay so on this date ncbi will release your sequences to the public okay and down below you can see sequences upload on nucleotide fasta formatted file choose file so we have already prepared this file we have fasta sequences in notepad file so we just need to upload this file go to desktop and agaricus sequences open it so this is uploaded and then click on continue button so please wait processing the data I click on continue okay so we have got error that uh, there are duplicate sequence ids in the first file Sequen, uh, sequence id must be unique so let's change the ids i don't know what's going on agaricus species okay so let's see the sequence okay so just for now i'm going to agaricus one Agaricus 2, Agaricus 3, save it and let's see, delete it and choose again, next up, Agaricus sequences. So let's hope now that show no error. Continue it. okay so now we have corrected the problem okay uh, the first few sequence ids that we found are agaricus one two three okay so you need to be careful to format your definition line correctly okay so do your sequences ids represent one of these yes uh, these are isolates so okay i will select isolate clone specimen ocher strand none of these so these are isolates okay I have isolated uh, these sequences from underground. Okay, so click on continue. Now we have step number six source modifiers so and this source modifiers we need to label our sequence with some important information okay for example country name organism name isolate uh, strain so here you can see how do you want to apply source modifiers so we have three options use a form to apply the same values for all sequences use an editable table upload a tape delimited table template file provided so i'm going to choose second option use an editable table okay so this is online table you can add values uh, just on this page okay so select it 
and then continue so here you can see your sequence id we have three sequences organisms sorry what's going on okay so organism name agaricus agaricus uh, for example species again agaricus species agaricus species okay so this is organism tape isolate agaricus one agaricus two three so if you want you can change it uh, 101 102 103 for example these are isolates and if you want to add more options more modifiers you can add columns okay for example click on add column and then you can select country this is one column and then collected by the person collection date altitude and so on okay so first select country and add so country and then again click on add column collected by sorry country Pakistan then add column altitude for example add uh, so use meters only format like this example 105 meter okay such so meter Parts of meter 1000 meter so in this way you can add other modifiers in this form okay and then just on continue okay so we have got another problem the isolate contains organism name so we need to remove isolate the organism name from isolate tab okay so let me select isl 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 so this is laboratory name herbarium name okay so continue now hopefully we have corrected the problem it's done processing the data uh, okay so now we have seven number references uh, this stiff reference authors okay so we should be who should who should be publicly created as the submitter of this sequence data enter others below drag and drop to reorder others okay so I have generated these sequences and I'm working on these organisms so I'll put my name last name A L I and if you have collaborators uh, and those people working with you you can add name will appear and your record is Ali B okay this is a scientific way add another person for example I'm adding my second colleague uh, Alistair and then 
if you have more authors you can add one by one publication status unpublish so you can select these option if your article is published already you can select this one if it is in the pipeline under processing you can select and press if it is still not published you can select unpublish and reference title same as sequence authors specify others okay same as sequence authors reference title okay reference title means uh, in, when you get your uh, record okay when you get your sequence record from NCBI you will see references okay who submitted these sequences like this so you can select same as sequence authors okay or maybe you can change it or maybe you can specify authors who work in the article okay so this is actually for the article you are going to submit so you have to decide the authors in this place and click on continue okay again make sure go. click continue so we have final step review and submit so let's see okay so to proceed please review your submission make an necessary changes using the tab steps above then click on the submit button below okay so you can jinbang record preview you can review your submission on this page you can see the sequence or the sequences okay and the journal title everything about your sequences if there are some mistakes if you are not sure you can correct it at this point okay so this is very useful page uh, before submission you can make sure that okay i have did every step correctly uh, and then you have re requested that your second data release on a page okay which is two months and 20 days from now and some miter sequence authors sequence technology uploaded files file that will be used for this submission okay submit so the final step is just to click on the submit button and when you click on submit your sequences will go to ncbi and they will review your sequences for correction so if your sequences are correct they will send you the ncbi staff will send you accession number for your sequences and you can use those accession number in your publication okay so this was about how to submit nucleotide sequence data through NCBI and hopefully uh, this video is going to be useful for you especially those who are new to sequence submission in NCBI. Thank you so much.